So this video is intended to look at how to work out the value of a European uh, call option using uh, Cox Ross Rubenstein binomial tree. Um, I've went to develop the website. Uh, there's some code there available uh, under the VBA tab. That's not always live, but I've managed to um, uh, drill down into the portal and I'll double click and it's providing us with some code. So this is VBA code and I just copy. And the function ends and copy. Then open a spreadsheet. So all programs and we'll look for Excel. Excel open up the Excel, a new Excel workbook. I The developer tab is here already. Sometimes that is not there. Uh, where will, would we find that? It's generally to customize ribbons and over here. If it's unclicked, it doesn't appear. If, it, if it's uh, clicked, you'll find the developer tab is here. We'll go into the developer tab. We'll go to Visual Basic. Now it's an empty spreadsheet, so we have to uh, include, incorporate in a module. And so we'll say insert a new module. And that's now appearing as module one in the project explorer. We'll paste in the code and then we'll try to remember uh, how the function set out. So, uh, function is given a CRR tree, spot, price K, T, risk rate, volatility, and the number of steps, and then we have to uh, indicate uh, what the, uh, which type of option. And we can see here just the basic elements of the Cox-Ross-Rubenstein tree um, is set out. So there's a spot price, an exercise, a time period, risk rate. Uh, what is equivalent to Black Scholes volatility, number of steps, and then the op type is f either a call or a put. So we put in C, capital C, or capital P for call or put, and then an additional string indicate, indicating or denoting whether the option is American or European. So what we can do is we can copy this function. And go back into the spreadsheet and we can just paste anywhere and okay we need to have a spot we need to have k we need to have t and i'm just following the order of the variables as presented here rf we have the volatility we have n we have uh, opt type, so opt type, and then expiry, ex. And the set of values that I've been typically using has been 100 for the spot, 100 for the exercise, time period one year, risk free rate 5%, uh, volatility 20%, n. We'll go with 100 steps to start. Option type, we'll say, um, is C for call and D for expiry. We'll go for E for European. Okay, and then under, we can paste again. I would we'll say equal to and spot. Okay, let's check this. Spot price 100. K 100. So time period one year. Risk free rate 5%. Volatility 20%. Number of time periods 100. Option type a string. So it's 
C for call. Let's hope that works. And then, in terms of expiry, uh, E for European. And hit return. And we get a value of 1043061. If we increase that to 1000, and it takes a little bit longer to work out, 1044, and see if we can go to 10,000. And this might take a while, so I might pause. And actually, as you can see here, the screen, the Excel spreadsheet is, has stopped responding. So I'll just pause again for a while. And as you can see down here, uh, another small bit of time has elapsed and uh, the Excel spreadsheet is not responding. And in part, this is because uh, the number here is, is quite high and Excel is less uh, computationally intensive type of calculations tend to drain computing resources and VBA is a more sophisticated language but it's also a language that um, it takes longer for uh, making calculations so I'll just pause again and at 18 minutes past we can see that actually we have a value so that's that's positive and what I'll do is I'll save file save and we'll just for the moment put into the desktop and we have to be careful here because PVA is loaded in it should be Excel macro enabled workbook and we'll call it C or R binomial Okay, and save. Now we want to compare this against uh, Black Shoals, so I'll go back to um, Volupta, and we can see there's a Black Shoals formula here. I wonder, can we get this to work? Black Shoals underlying Black Shoals and function. Okay, let's try this. Copy. And go back into the spreadsheet. And we'll look at the developer tab. And okay, we can go to well well we yeah, we can do it underneath. Oh, okay. Or insert a new module. So right click insert module and just paste. And we take the values here. Okay, copy. And go back into the spreadsheet. So, um, let's just paste. So we can call up that function, Black Shoals call the underlying is the spot in reality the strike price exercise so that's equivalent to k the risk free rate is equal to 0 0.05 and the expiry time or maturity of the contract is equal to one year and the volatility of the contract is equal to 20 percent and we return and the value is 10.4508, not quite ex the same as CRR, Cox, Ross, Rubenstein, Binomial Tree, but relatively sh close. Okay, so that Black Schultz model, uh, or the Cox, Ross, Rubenstein with 10,000 steps, is relatively close. So two values relatively close. I'll save this file and I'll leave it on. Uh, a link below um, and you'd be able to retrieve uh, this Excel replete with code from the OneDrive. Okay.